The heat is unbearable in the capital while rain has begun to fall in the southern regions as Typhoon Francisco heads towards the peninsula. For more details, let's turn to our Michelle Park at the Weather Center. Michelle. Typhoon Francisco is contributing to the scorching weather in the country. Now, especially in Seoul, the thermometer rose to 36.8 degrees Celsius today, now breaking the season's record. And Typhoon Francisco is expected to land in Busan tonight and reach the city of Andong in Gyeongsangbuk-do province past midnight and then gradually weaken into a low pressure front. But heavy precipitation will continue until tomorrow. Over 200 millimeters of rain will fall along the east coast, accompanied by winds of 30 meters per second. And the upper parts of the nation will see rain until tomorrow evening, and the precipitation will help lower the mercury a couple of degrees. And Beijing, on the other hand, is also looking a lot cooler tomorrow with thunder and heavy rain in store. And Wednesday morning's commute will be stuffy and also very humid with Seoul and most regions waking up to 25 degrees Celsius on average. The daily highs are also looking more bearable tomorrow as Seoul climbing up to 30 degrees Celsius while Daegu and Gyeongju both reaching up to 33 degrees. I'll leave you with weather conditions around the world.